Thanks for staying with us here on the Joy News Channel. Let's take you now live to the Electoral Commission headquarters. Bosman Asari is addressing political party for this year's IPAC meeting. They're dealing with some key issues regarding accreditation ahead of the December 7th polls. ...employees in the printing and distribution of ballot papers. The essence, as noted, is to ensure full accountability of the ballots and to make sure that the ballots sent to the regions are accurate. It is important to note that in the spirit of transparency, the Commission notifies the political parties and presidential candidates to enable them to inform their agents to observe the reprinting of the ballot, as well as the destruction of the faulty ballot papers. The question is, who discovered it and who is requesting for a reprint? The Commission has nothing to hide. Where will the Commission inform political parties in writing if it has something to hide? It is the Commission staff at the regional level that discovered and reported back to the Commission. It is the Commission that ordered the reprinting and informed the political parties and the presidential candidates. The Commission had nothing to hide. This is the procedure in place, and it is the Commission which is requesting a reprint of the shortfall in the presence of the agents, not any political party. For the benefit of the general public, similar shortfalls and discrepancies were discovered and reported back to the head office by our regional directors. The short force occurred in Greater Accra, Western North, Upper West, Western, and Bunu East regions. So the Volta region and the, uh, and the Bunu region are not the exceptions. The political parties were also informed in writing, and the reprinting was done. Why the noise about the short force for only the Volta region? If the Commission had anything to hide, it would not transparently call for a reprint of ballots to make up for the short force. The Commission urges the general public and especially our political parties to disregard acts of mischief by persons whose only objective is to malign the Commission and sow seeds of mistrust and doubts. The memo, is the memo in circulation demonstrates the Commission's resolve to operate above board and in a transparent and accountable manner. We entreat our political parties and the general public to carefully read the memos from the Commission which may find their way onto social media so that they are not swayed by persons whose sole agenda is to cause fear and panic and tarnish the image of the Commission ahead of the 2024 presidential and parliamentary elections. For the information of our political parties and the general public, we sent earlier letters indicating their shortfalls in some of the ballots for some of the regions. And I have a letter here showing uh, 22nd November, 40 and shortfall of ballot papers which were sent to the political parties and printing houses. And the latest one occurred on November 28th. So this is a clear indication that the voter and the Bunu regions were not the only exceptions. It's a standard practice we have adopted as an institution that any time the ballots are sent to the regions, we do another check. And if the checks reveal that there are any shortfalls, automatically we get into action and we print them to make up for the shortfalls. And we think that this is a quality practice which must continue. So we are very grateful for your attention. Now we will give the opportunity to the parties and the uh, agents of the presidential candidates uh, to ask questions or any concerns they have. Thank you very, very much. Mr. Tete, you can now take over. Thank you, Thank you for At this point, we would like to allow the political parties and the reps of the candidates around the table. News channel. We have better connection to our feed at the EC headquarters. The IPAC meeting currently ongoing. Let's listen in. Two 
at a time for collation. I hope this is. Yeah. I would deal with you yeah. that every decision that you inform us about it should be grounded in the CI. This is in the CI. This refers to the remission. Anybody will understand. Otherwise, it will look like you've taken a decision no, here. You understand what you say? No. But this, this goes to the CI. Go to the CI and make progress. Yeah, if you look at Revolution 43, the correction and publication of parliamentary election results. 43, 43.1. Subject to Revolution 43, immediately after the result of the school for all the police stations in the constituency of the returning officer have been given to the returning officer. The returning officer shall in the presence of the candidates or the representatives of the candidate or not more than two counting agents appointed by each candidate. That's what the regulations say. That's what the Okay, so so that has been established. Um any other any other question? I must clarify, sir. Yes. That's a formula. <laughs> yes. He wants to know the commission. <laughs> yes. So, with the. No, please. 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 So this guy is only providing another layer so that there will be a basis for comparison. So everything stops at the doorstep of the return officer who works under the supervision of the district officer. So the presiding officers coming to the coalition center, they don't even know the coalition officer. It's just someone working under the supervision of the returning officer. And please, as we said, to enhance the integrity of their collation. So we believe this is something all of us must uh, uh, appreciate. And let's ensure that our agents will also be educated on it properly. And once that is that will make a lot of progress. Douglas, allow others. You come in. You come in. Yes. Mm. Um, then there is another hand here. I wanted to go back to the CIA. The regulations under Revolution 19 talks about presiding officers and pooling assistance. The assumption is that the position of the will also fall under this regulation. We will see 19 talks about presiding officers and other assistants <coughs> of the presiding officer. So the yeah. assumption is that mm -hmm. the regulation of the position of the will also be part of this team. No, at, at, the, at, the, at the police station, they are at the constituency level. Okay, that's, that's the, they are the constituency level. If you, if, you, if you go to Revolution 19, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the Revolution 19, Section 1, Section 2, Section 3, the Commission shall publish at yeah. the visit of the Commission mm -hmm. the names and pictures of persons the Commission proposes to appoint. Yeah as presiding officers and brilliance are not later than 10 days before an election. I'm going to ask whether you publish these names too. Yes, in fact, we have sent a memo to the regions to ask all district officers to submit the names and pictures of election officials they intend to use to the parties which they have done. I hope the parties can actually get in touch with, with the their executives. executives. Mm -hmm. the, initially, the challenge that we were facing was that it's very likely, maybe we have to have a look at the law again, it's very likely that the names may change in the sense that we are currently having the grassroots what? training. It's ongoing. Mm -hmm. it's ongoing. And we have actually submitted the list 
you know, the proposed ones, the ones that we intend to use as the law is asking us to do. So when we are done with the training, the training it's likely some of them may not show up. show up. And for that matter, we have to send a revised what, list, like those that didn't turn up and we have changed to the political party. So we've done that. Thank you. Well, I think well, that means you may not be the 10 days deadline. No. <laughs> uh, I think for, for the 10 days deadline, what's my, we've already done that. Yeah. But along the line, we don't have the power to compare people who have decided not to. Sure. So, as, so what we are saying, after the training, if some people don't show up, then we may have to give you an updated list. So, 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 what you've done is to parties and the constituency level. When we read the B, it says candidates, before we be representing our candidate, Dr. Mahamud, mm. candidates. So we, the, the, by giving it to the parties, the implication is that <laughs> no, we'll we make them available yeah. to them too. Yeah. We'll make it available. So let's get this question, then we can no, no, come no, to PSC. No, 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 I don't want this. Yes, yes, yes. Today is Friday. Monday, first year. Voting. Tomorrow's week, July. We want to know the day on which we can say that we have a final list of officials who represent the Delta Commission. Okay, so yes, we've given you the list of officials we intend to use for the 2024 um, general election. If you look at the schedule of the commission for the training, training at grassroots level is expected to end uh, on the 30th of November. November, which is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes. So 31st, 1st, Hey, sorry. <laughs> first, 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 second, third. Okay, second is the second uh, is special uh, voting day. Vote. Yes. So we can get the updated one to you on the first before we start the special voting exercise on Monday. Oh, on the first. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, is that, please, can we have the mic? Is it, uh, is PNC chairman. Are we talk, we are, can we, that should be an ill, let's talk about the yes, issues. Yes, I'm not, I'm not, and so let's finish the no, issue, then we'll open up for, so that you can no, come. No, it's part of it. Thank you very much. Because this is the first time. And I think the last time we were here, we looked at solar. This is the third time, I think the last time we looked at night. And I expect that at least once we see 10 or 11, then we are not here. Thank you.
25 has been scattered. And so at some, at some point, there are some three new parts, some are zero percent. Even that one. And so at some point, if you call for a meeting and they say that strictly presidential candidates representative, I ask the question, is there the election for presidential candidates? The election is for I know IPAC is political party registered. My political party is the oldest of the party. So, so, okay. so um, you want to find out that on yesterday there's issues and you want to emergency IPAC because I do not have a present permit. Will you give me accreditation as an outside chairman of my party? You can go. I know issues are from the party and you will need us at IPAC with you. What would I have? I will give a pass, you know, pass for what? But I don't think the the skills to take control of this building. Thank you very much. If, if you don't have a presidential candidate, you don't need to be at the coalition, the National Coalition Center. Yes. So that's, um, let, me, let me answer your question. Um, maybe you didn't get well. What I said was that the constituency coalition officer and then the returning officers, they do independent work. work. I didn't say is independent. Yes, the work that they are doing, they, yes, they do independent work. And then afterwards, they compare. And where there are discrepancies, they resort to the primary ones, documents. So take it. And then secondly, you also spoke as if you've, not, you've never made an error. <laughs> yes, uh, you spoke as if you've never made an error. Even when you are writing, you know, when you are writing, when you, are, when you write exams, <laughs> when you write exams, you have, you have someone who marks and then <laughs> you make errors. So. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, you know, what, what we detected in terms of the ballots, not that we printed excess ballots. We said the ballots got to the regions and there were shortfalls. And you can imagine we are in the country on election day, assuming information comes out that the ballot shortfalls in a particular region. It's not the best. So what we said was that at the time the ballots get to the regions, the regional capitals, all our district officers, they come to the regional capital, as well as the party officials. So they check for the specific constituencies to make sure that the details that have been sent to them, they are the exact ballots that have been printed. And what the point we made was that the Volta region and the Bunu region ones, they are not unprecedented. They are well within. So they went there and they checked. And we think that it's, it's a good thing. And we, we wrote to the parties that this is what has transpired. So let's get back to the drawing board and let's print the short forms. And not like we are, I know Dr. Mani Buama was talking about, but you, you made the point that uh, my good friend, my good, this is the only country where good friends undermine uh, other good friends. People will say, but my, my brother, then they are working to undermine. <laughs> so I think that the commission, the commission has done right. We think that the shortfall, it occurred, I mentioned the regions, it occurred in Greater Accra, it occurred in other parts, and I know Dr. Manibua was talking about the statistics. The statistics were given to the printing houses. But you know, a lot of things happened during printing. People were checking, so we didn't all that. So let's allow, there's another hand here. Uh, Dr. Temple, uh, please, ask me. Uh. Uh, good afternoon. God is good. All the time. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I have been in the IPAC so many years, I have been here. Nothing of this sort has ever happened. Easy, going, and coming 
every day and then to give us information about if there are any errors. Thank you. Right. You are not watching. With all your eager eyes in 2016, you did not watch. So uh, this Nobody, I'm not addressing you, please. Dr. Mane, please comfort yourself. I think in 2020, we all had uh, the retaining officer giving us different uh, figures. And I think what EC is doing now with the introduction of um, Coalition officers. Coalition officer who is using not any other means but using the electronic means is going to care that problem. It's going to just solve that problem. That we are not going to have different figures. And that is why I am saying God is good. Electoral Commission. I and my party, we will congratulate you for the good question. Uh, and uh, before I take a seat, I just want uh, a minute silence for our <laughs> no, um, our mother, Madame Ediadoko, yesterday was a uh, one week celebration. Uh, at least we should have a minute silent for her. Thank you. 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 We, this, we have this meeting. we have we have another emergency meeting at in the next twenty. So we are taking two two uh, two other persons and uh, we will address. Please, we are taking only two. Then we can.
after which they were supposed to take them to the place. Now, they accounted for it again, right, before they left. Why should a political party be named for having that when the original director of the meeting was present? There was any form of accountability. What you want to experience is only function of experience when your director of the region was there. So let's put it on record. So that we do not think that political parties have not experienced a beginning way. They were given certain statistics to look at this. That was what they were given. That was what they accounted for. If there were shortages or fallout for so many of the region, please, you should be held responsible. And so if there is anything at all, who may have a better life? And then you are one in you, and then you are in you, and then you are speaking to you, so that we go to understand. And this is what you are going to do. Now, let's go here, then we can. Let me, if you look at your RCI 127, Romish 24 gives a definition of clarity on absent mental rest. Now, per your summary of the 2024 certified mental rest, the last time I raised it again, which was an answer, which was an answer, and I raised it again. Point nine. Six. Oh. Let's go. Go ahead and let's wrap up. Let me wrap up one minute. Oh, yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, point nine six. The total number of absent voters should equal the sum of special voters plus transfer voters. However, the number of polling stations were administratively closed. It says that either because they did not meet the minimum voter threshold required for operations or because local communities requested the commission to close the polling stations for legitimate reasons. Voters from these closed stations were transferred to other polling stations. Now the last paragraph says, since no register was generated for these closed polling stations, no absent voter list was created for them. Resulting in 884 voters excluded from the absent voter list. Their records, including details of their movements, and securely as securely maintained within the voter management system, ensuring full accountability. I have asked, how do you give a definition of this? These 884, who are they? If we be able to identify them. Why are we not able to give clarity to their identities? So that tomorrow, if I am voting and I am part of the AT and I go to police station A, and because I am part of them and they allow me to vote, I cannot come again. Or if I am not part of the AT I cannot go and pretend as though I am one. What is the definition of the AT4? What is their where do they fall? Because they, they are not part of absence list. They are not part of transfer list, but you say you have their meetings. We just need clarity on who they are and where they fall. Now, my very last one. The CI gives an interpretation to every word technically used. So we have the deciding officers, we have the returning officers, we have the, uh, we have the rest. Now, my question is this. When you are making the distinguish, distinguishing between the accountants and the police stations, you realize that we are finding it difficult. When we come to a police station, what are we looking at? When we come to the coalition service, what are we looking at? Are we able to give a roadmap to it? Pair the regulations. That is one. Two. Now, the Electoral Commission has a responsibility to define to their ends how their results will be gathered. They have a responsibility to tell their ends how the structures will be. 
we just have some feelings to the elections. What is the structure the Electoral Commission is using? Can we all know? So that we will not have a reputation of results number one, results number two, and results number three. Let us know if it is an Excel spreadsheet you are using. Let us know how that is going. If you have an app that you want us to use for chats, let us have an understanding. Not only as political parties or independent reps, but as a country, so that we are able to hold you responsible for any short form of address. Thank you. Dr. Thank you very much. much. So, independent candidate allies. What's the answer? What's the answer? Yes. I think the chairman, I should address me in that year. Thank you. Um, uh, given the fact that the Electoral Commission intends to release the final list of the um, officials on the first of December, or Bambi, I want to know from the Electoral Commission what avenues are available to political parties to challenge or request for the replacement of Okay, so what we do is, is there a hand up? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you, you don't wait to add that. Okay. Okay, so um, when, when you are giving the list, that's the names and then the pictures, and you have any issue, you only write to the commission. Yeah, you write. When you write, we will also investigate and then find whether what you are saying is true or not. We've had instances where we've sat on some of these issues and we've actually um, found them to be sympathetic to some parties and we dropped them. Others also, we found out that the issues, there were no evidence. So that is the approach. Two, by law, it is the work of the returning officer that we are using. The Excel one is just an additional what, layer to make sure that what the returning officer has done is correct. So we are not using the Excel to declare any results. That is it. So we said the Excel format we share with you. So, Doc, uh, I said that as for the Excel format, we will share with you we'll because, you know. yes. Then, then the last one, the last one, if you look at the, the law that you are looking, you see, it's saying that the commission may appoint, it is, it's talking about the regional coalition ones. No, you know, that one is, let's look, let's go further. Let's go. You know, the a regional director of the commission then a deputy regional director of the commission or any other person that the commission may be consultating. That, no, that one, that one is the, that, that, yes, that one we were to, No, 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 that one, that one, no, what, what this law actually means is that in the event we don't have, we don't want to use our regional director. Exactly. We don't want to use our deputy regional director. Yes. Then whoever we want to appoint outside the regional director and the deputy regional director. Yeah. I remember we had it in parliament and the exactly. parliament here. Dr. Mosman, you said here this morning that you appointed the regional director. No, look, look, the difference no. is this. Dr. Wani Guaba. Doc, no. the difference is this. The difference is this. No, this one, they are not regional. They are not regional. They are officers. collation officers. Uh, collation Let's look at the and difference. They were they are, they are, they are collation officers. officers. They are not regional collation officers. Clarification. Yes. When you appoint a collation officer at the constituency, the regional collation you call, officer. You call that person a constituency collation officer. Mm -hmm. But when you appoint a collation officer in the region, yes. you decide not to call. Because, the because we have the name the regional the collation law. officer in the law. In the law. But they already have the regional collation officer. You see, you see, so you see, 
All this correction officer business, nomenclature is the bane. Perhaps if you haven't issued the appointment letters, appoint them as assistants to the returning officer, assistant to the regional director. And you will solve the problem. Because you see, you cannot in one way. Let us read, let us read what is to the law of Let us understand the workings of it. Which law are you talking about? Is it the CIA? Is it, is it Revelation 38? No, that's why. Hold on. Revela okay, read. Appointment of regional coalition officer. It means there is no regional coalition officer. You are yet to appoint. And he says that the commission may appoint a regional director. It doesn't mean that the regional director is the coalition officer. It says the commission may appoint the regional director or a deputy regional director of the commission or any other person. It does not mean automatically the regional director is a coalition officer. That is my understanding. Which will otherwise no, there is a reason to continue the food and two. Continue the one. One yeah. as a regional coalition officer in each of the regions. In Ghana. Yes. So you will decide who is. So, 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 please, 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 let's, let's make progress. So, so, regulation, please. No, let's make regulation. 38 is purely about the regional coalition. But what we are saying is that the people who are going to support the region, they are not the regional coalition officer. Because the regional coalition officer is provided in law. So that one is very, very clear. So they are going to assist. So that's, that's why the name is assistant. No, that one we don't have to consult. You. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> so, 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 Please, we are not here to do interpretation. We are telling us that we've appointed somebody who will help with coalition at the constituency level, at the regional level. Please, let's move on. Mr. Dutte, let's take the last one. Please, stop. Please, please, stop. Please, 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 let's let's move. Please, we need to we need to discharge you so that you continue with your campaign. So let's take the final. Are you able to define a coalition of such as? You let citizen finish, then we'll respond to you, please. There are some few things that have been said that I'd like to let me take a look at those You see, I think it is not assuring enough for for me and probably some of us, even in the general public, if the EC says that um, political party reps were supposed to do their job to ensure that all these things are good. And what if I don't have a agent at a particular place? It means anything can happen. So for me, it is not reassuring. I think you rather get uh, your own internal checks to, to, uh, to see that there was a problem. That should have been emphasized. But to, help, to use the situation about political parties being blamed for the shortages, I think it is, it is, it is, it is powerful. The other thing I want to talk about was um, that there was a lot of on in social media, and I thought this opportunity would clarify that. So it has been named that some officers of the EC are politically paid. The EC has been doing really well in responding to issues that have been raised on your quarters. But this one, I haven't heard from the EC. Which one is it? Is it, is it the case or not? Why I are mean, the issues of Rumwa, East, Dragoso, Draje, I mean, that some officers of the EC are taken? What is the situation with that? I think you need to clarify these things 
So that in the minds of everyone, we are said that it is the case or not. And I think this issue of giving names to political parties and the timing. So in case you give us a name on Sunday, and I have an issue on it, how can I raise it? When the following day there's special vote. So I think it is important that we clarify all these things. And the coalition, you see, you are saying that the regional coalition officers is by law. So it means that the, what you are going to do is not by law. So that is illegal. No, no. So, so if you are saying that one thing you are doing is by law and it's named it, but the other one that you are going to do is not by law, then it's by what? And you've not also explained the different dynamics in terms of the different duties that they are responsible for. And if in case there is a disparity, whose own are we going to go with? All these issues, I think, need to be clear so that all of us are on the same page. There was another issue of the media in terms of restrictions and all that. I think this is also another opportunity for us to leave this room with some form of clarity and assurances from you. Once you, you get these opportunities, I think it's good that you clarify why um, some of these things, so that everybody goes, because the media are not getting opportunity to ask questions here, I'm sure. So that they can be clear in their minds what the, the situation is. I think we will be Okay, so uh, let's try and address those uh, few questions. And we've said over and over and over with respect to the recruitment. We said. Let me add this. Oh, I think I'll document on the issue about generators. Generators. Renting of generators. Um, I know it has come for us to discuss before in terms of your budget and probably this can be something that others will support. It wasn't in the EC's budget to rent the meters or procure the meters. For what? Is it something that, in, because I know some areas, even renting the meters is going to be a challenge. In some, in some um, um, constituencies, renting the meters is going to be a challenge. And we are voting, uh, we are doing this on the weekend with all activities and all that. So it's something that you have to consider. Okay, so um, yes, we've, we've said this over and over. You know, we advertise and then the people apply. We set up um, interview panels and then we interview people, the successful applicants. We give the names to the political parties and all that. So it is up to the parties if they have um, any issue raised. We set up committees and then we investigate and then do otherwise. The other one is maybe we may have to take a look at the law again because it is um, giving us 10 days very close to our training periods. And either we actually do our trainings, yes. so either we do our trainings before the 10 days so that we can give the names to you. So that is something that we've also taken um, note of. As for the um, the, the interpretation, the definition of who a regional coalition officer and all that, we cannot actually, it will take us the whole day because people have different interviews, inter interpretations of what it is. So on this note, friends, let's uh, Yes, that's what we, I am saying that, yes, we have interpreted the way we think it should. Others are also interpreting it in a different way. So we cannot actually get to a consensus. So let's move on. The first time I asked, it wasn't answered. This time it's also being in the price of science. So I think we can we, we can call it a day now. No. No. So what, what other question? What was I asked the question the last time? So what, 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 what's your question? Mante, what's your question? What's your question? 
The one, the one about the 844. The eight, eight, definition of a coalition officer. The definition of a coalition officer. 844. Now, 844, I think the commission explained that some polling stations were collapsed. So, because of that, we had to transfer those individuals to other polling stations. And as a result of that, it will bring some discrepancy in terms of the absentee voters, the transfer, and the special voters. That's what we explained. If you want the list of those particular polling stations, you can reach out to the commission. We'll make those particular polling stations available. We have written more than two have, you, have, you, have you written? No, I'm so, we, and I think, we have written more than two And I think you also asked about who is a coalition officer, a definition of. We said. If you are not defining or answering, you can close. I don't have a problem with that. But it's on record that anytime you ask questions that are more relevant, no, we, we don't brush. Our job is to respond to you. The coalition officers, as we said, their job is to assist in the uh, coalition of the uh, results and the constituency. We said that the mistrust that is generated on the PC is what is causing the problem to happen. No, it's not true. It's not true. That, that's not true. And as a citizen, you were asking something about we said the law. I think we made it very clear that in CI 127, the law allows us to appoint people to assist the returning officer. And CI, the same CI 127 regulation 38, is very clear on those who can be appointed as regional coalition officers. So when you ask a question that this one is not based on law, then you are not being fair to the commission. Maybe you don't have a copy of the law. Get a copy and look at it. And so look at it, and it's very clear. It's provided. No, I, yeah, it's, it's the law. No, and I mentioned regulation uh, 23B is there. And uh, look at it. Uh, so, Mr. Dieter, let's move. Uh, no, you have another question. No, no, talk about the accreditation for the polling station. Mm, polling station, those in the group. No, he's talking about the polling station. That, those, the number of people, two people, the Kassanian group. It's important that we have December 2nd. Please hold on to the point. Special voting, after that we go to the general election. There are three areas we are voting. And we're not going to have a lie. One. Likely. I don't think you're going to invite them to meet again. They will come. So, what are the great One, areas? Violent distributions. Where are you doing this? The materials are very important. Are we doing it? December 6th or December 6th? <laughs> <laughs> so, the best time, we need it at a moment. We're there. So, I'm going to be. No, no, no. 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 When we finish with, you know we are not coming. We will come to December 7. What happened to the BV? The BV, okay. Okay, number three. What happened to me? Another one, we want to know this accreditation thing. That one is very clear in terms of our agents. What of observers? Observers for who? The parties? The parties. Okay. We must know how many are you giving us for each coalition center. Because we know, apart from our agents, we also have. Observers. Observers who come in to support us. So we must know how many. So I'll be on the way to you. If this is not going to lie to them, you go behind the scenes. You come in the middle of other things. So give us number one or six thousand. Then at the national level, how many are you giving us? We need political party. Then we do. I think that one will mention it. Yes. The national coalition. Yes, no. Oh. Observers. 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 Yes, that's. So we, we, we must know this. Observers. Observers. Okay, so uh, and the last one is please, please, please see all these reports we are going to in most of the way we tell you are which doesn't exist in the CI. Don't create meeting, that is doesn't exist. We will have to because we don't understand the point that's what Okay, um, so, uh, so 
um, let's let's answer the questions. Um, the, the first, is it Dr. Tanku? Dr. Tanku, with, with the distribution of the the ballots, you know, we we cannot actually say that today, thirteenth, we are starting distribution of ballots because. Even if you look at Afran Plains, North and South, where to airlift the ballots and other things. Oh, but usually, it's on the eve of the elections that ballots are distributed. Yes. So, yes, so the, depending, yeah, the, yes, depending upon some of the distances, the terrain and other things, so you cannot get one fixed date. Yes. So, so at the constituency level, the regional constituency levels, you know, these things can actually be discussed. Yes. They can discuss them. You know, either than that, we may have to, yes, ask them to give us dates that, for instance, if you look at the, the distribution of the the ballots and then the BVDs from the national to the regional to the district. We wrote to the political parties indicating the dates that we are doing all these things. You know. So with this one, it can be done at the constituency level. With the with the with the special voting, we all know that we don't count. So the arrangement that the commission has made is that the BVD and the statement of poor integration results will be put into one ballot box, sealed and kept at the police assembly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. As for the accreditation, the observers, the observers, the observers, you know, we are still compiling what the list. So we will let you know when we are done with it. Thank you. Oh, you said the, num yes, the numbers. The numbers. Yes, the numbers. We are still compiling. Yeah. So we are still compiling them. So we'll, we'll, let you we'll, know. We'll write to you and tell you the numbers you are getting. Exactly. No, we know we received a letter from you. Yes. And so we'll respond to it. Yes. We'll respond to other parties. To know what. So, okay. We have to work into another chain. Every time you come for a meeting, you give a specific time. You don't come on time. And we want to air our views to Please, we beg you. That, that is not acceptable. You want, 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 want to answer the question? No, no, they are asking questions that benefit everyone, especially the people. You are not asking them. 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 You are we thank you very much for coming. Let's on this note tonight, share a simple word of prayer. Shall we pray? We thank you for coming. We thank you, Vidya, for showing up and carrying this iPad meeting live. Thank everybody. I'd like to give the mic to the Reverend to share a word of prayer with us.